Hello everyone and welcome back to another tutorial looking at Power BI. So the format for this video is probably going to be a shorter one, but I simply want to cover off how to use conditional formatting uh, within Power BI. And the example we're going to use is just having a simple table here and we'll just go through some, like I say, very entry level uh, conditional formatting just to show you how to get started and obviously you can do a lot more complex criteria than what we're going to be looking at today. So we can see our criteria we've got here on the left. So we want to have any values that are less than three, we want them to be red. And when I say red, I want the background of the cell uh, to go to the color red. Uh, if it's greater than or equal to three, uh, but less than seven, we want those numbers to be amber. So all numbers between and including three, up until any that are less than seven, we want to be amber. And then if it's uh, greater than or equal to seven, we want that value to be green. And we haven't got any values that go up to there, but we're just gonna base this on numbers being ranging from one to 10. So obviously 10 would be our, our ceiling in this example. So we're gonna do it based on our totals column. Obviously you could do this again on sales, but based on our criteria, we're only gonna apply this to the total number here. And let's say these are units of sales. So basically we want to aim to achieve seven sales on each day, hence that's why it would make it green. And obviously the other colors would then indicate any days of the week that we need to sort of improve our sales. So in order to do conditional formatting, all we need to do is we select our table that I've already put into here. And this is nothing more than a basic simple table I've put in here containing what we can see on the screen. So you've got the day, the number of sales, and then the sales total. And as we can see, the days aren't actually in order here at the moment because I've not actually done anything complex with that. But then they will probably serve the purpose of this tutorial. So all we're gonna to do to add our conditional formatting is we want to do it on the total field. So I'm just gonna to navigate to uh, the right hand side in our visualization pane here, and we can see the values that make up our table. All I'm gonna do is go to the total field, and you can see the little drop down we have here. Click that, and we can then come down and clearly see we've got the option here for conditional formatting. There's a number of options we've got available, um, namely you've got background color or font color uh, with our conditional format we're looking at today. We're gonna to be sticking with background color, but again, you could use the same uh, logic to do the font color if that was your preference. And we've got some other options here available, but we'll be going over those in other dedicated videos. So we can see that uh, when we click that button, we have some options that appear to us. And by default, it gives us the option to do a color scale based on obviously the lowest versus the highest value, which is a great option. It gives you some flexibility if you've got a bigger table and you're trying to identify what are the highest and lowest values in that range. But for us, we want to apply our simple logic. So we're gonna change the drop down here from color scale to rules. And you can see how the view has changed for us slightly. And the options we've got here, so apply to values only, based on the field, and it's gonna be the sum of total, and you can see the summarization is sum. So we've summarized just by sum on this field at the moment. But again, more flexibility available to you here if you wish to do so. So what I'm gonna do is I'll start at the bottom. So we're gonna look at our lower range numbers first, and we'll build the criteria from then. So what we're gonna do here, if we go, uh, is greater than or equal to um, zero, because zero could be a sales one of our days, and we'll change that to a number, and is less than three. So obviously this is our bottom one, what's gonna be red. We want those the background of that cell to go to the color red. And I can't see a clear red here, so all I'm gonna do is go custom color, and we can sort of cherry pick a color here, like so click OK, and we can see that rule has now applied. So any numbers, and for us it's the only the number two on Sunday, you can see the background color has now changed to red. So we know that is working. What we can further do, so if we go back into our total field, do our drop down, conditional formatting and background color, we can now continue on building our rules. So this first one's working great. So we now need to click this button here of new rule so that we can add a new rule into our criteria. So this one is then going to be if there is greater than or equal to three. So obviously now moving on from our one we've set out here and it's obviously gonna be number again and is less than number seven. Then we want our color to now be amber. So all we need to do now again, go custom color, find where about a nice amber is. So let's go somewhere here. Yeah, it looks about a nice orange. Click okay. 
And we can see that again has now populated all those other backgrounds. So you don't need to keep coming out of the conditional formatting every time like I'm doing. I'm simply just doing it so we can see how this builds up as we progress through each of our criteria. So the last one we now need to do is those greater than seven. So all we're gonna do for that is again, go back into our conditional formatting, background color, and we need to do uh, add a new rule. So the last one we've got to do here is, is greater than is greater than or equal to, well, I wonder if we could actually do is, no, we need to go is greater than or equal to seven and is less than or equal to say the number 10. So yeah, is greater than or equal to seven and it needs to be number here, and you went over that one and is less than or equal to 10. Then we want to do a green. So if we go into here, find a nice green, perfect. So we've got a red and our amber and our green. Obviously, as I said before, our number range is only going to go up to 10, but should any numbers come in that are going to be higher than 10, obviously it's not going to be picked up in our criteria. Therefore, we would need to adjust this number here to make sure we include those. Or if we didn't want to, obviously we wouldn't need to do any more rules. It would just show them as no formatting to the cell. Or alternatively, we could add another rule if required to pick up those new numbers. So some best practice might be on this part here, even though we only want these and we know it's gonna go up to 10, you might want to create a condition. So let's say if it's greater than 10 um, and they go to the number, then you might want to obviously format this one to be something like, um, I don't know, is blue. It, that could be a suggestion to you to obviously pick out those ones if you so desired. But we only want these ones here, so we're gonna do okay. And you can see all of the other field backgrounds have now changed uh, as we require. So, and the best part of this is obviously it's all dynamic. So should these numbers change, then so will the formatting that is overlaid to them as well. So hopefully that wasn't too long that video. I'm trying to keep these uh, nice and short, but a good introduction on obviously how to use uh, Power BI in terms of conditional formatting. So there'll be a few more videos coming out shortly that are touching on similar topics to this one as we briefly breezed over earlier in this video. So make sure you subscribe to the channel so you get notified of when those videos become available. And also as a big favor to myself, if you could and you enjoyed this video, please make sure to hit that like button because uh, not only does it show me the content you'd like to see more of, but it helps the all important YouTube algorithm as well. So thank you very much for watching and we'll see you in the next video.